co-workers. My name is Summer Clark and in this episode of the Influencer Q&A series, I'm going to be speaking to travel, food and lifestyle content creator, Lorena Fernandez. We're going to be talking all about Lorena's career as a content creator. Without further ado, let's get straight into the conversation. So do you want to start by taking a moment to just briefly introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Lorena Fernandez or Lorena underscore F online. Um, I was born in Valencia, Spain, um, but I've been living in Bristol, UK for many years now. Oh, wow. That's very different than living in the UK after living in Spain. <laughs> I mean, the weather, some of the food. Yes, that but, is very true. You, know, you, you can make your life whatever you are in the world. And I think every place is good if you find the good things. So. Exactly. Yeah. There's always good things. Yeah. So what is your niche then as an influencer online? Well, first of all, I think I'd rather use the word content creator. Oh, yes, yes. You, I take yeah, content. okay, that makes sense. Um, I would say it's lifestyle because I do a bit of everything, mm -hmm. but I have an affinity more for food and travel, I will say. That's, that's the two things I like the most of everything I do. Okay, so you say you prefer the word, the term content creator. Why Why is that? Is it, you know, it, it's, it's more genuine, I think, isn't it? It sounds more yeah, sort of creative. I, I think it's... You know, so, some people use the word influencer mm. almost as a way of mocking you or not okay. to be very nice. Well, mm. other people, you know, I work with people every day and some people say, oh, you're one of the influencers. Okay, come with me this way. And I'll be like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Content creators, it's a more like software that, you know, that's what we do. We're here to create things. Yeah, that is exactly what it is. Yeah. So, yeah. Amazing. So lifestyle mainly. Yeah. Okay. It, pretty much everything that comes my way mm -hmm. and I enjoy doing you'll be seeing so, yes yeah. amazing bit of everything I think followers like that don't they it keeps them on their toes you know not too predictable well I guess it's also it shows you like I'm a normal person living a normal life I will say and yeah I mean sometimes my life is not normal for the average person but I I think it's my life so to me it's normal and and I like showing what I'm doing so yeah that's what I do. and I think it's easy for content creators to sometimes just show like all the shiny good parts of life do you get what I mean so I think yeah. it's really it's really good to show sort of everything like you said yeah yeah <laughs> like my my fence just fell down on, on the bad weather oh no yeah, but, it's just part of life you know, yeah it's part of life yeah uh, exactly it's at the moment so <laughs> there's noise in the background oh that's fine no I think I think people who follow you will definitely appreciate that honesty and you know make yeah. them feel better about their own lives as well and, and not so like they're behind or anything like that so that's cool yeah everybody has good days and bad days although I think I'm quite a positive person so I always try to make the most of life no matter what yes like, good or bad things go my way so. good to be an optimist yeah I am <laughs> So what platforms are you active on then? And then which is your favourite and why, would you say? Okay, so I'm on Instagram, Threads, Facebook, TikTok and YouTube. Mm -hmm. But my favourite one is definitely Instagram. It's mm. almost like where I started as such. Or, or also the ones that, you know, of all the platforms is the one that I always go and look at things yes yeah so I'm I, the I same. actually want to look at things yeah well I think the other ones you know I post there because you sort of have to to be current but yeah like the one that throws me back on and on again and, and I'm happy just sitting and spending hours just scrolling through oh yeah <laughs> and I think Instagram sort of there's lots to do on it do you get what I mean like there's yeah. stories reels you know normal photo posts live there's I, loads of know, different you things also like white 20 paragraphs if you want and tell somebody your, your life story in, in one photo and a, lo a long caption. So. Yes, definitely. You can do pretty much a bit of anything, whereas like YouTube yeah. and TikTok, it's kind of just video, isn't it? And then I think Facebook, Facebook was, I think, good. And then I think Instagram like took over a little bit, didn't it, when it came out? I think it's coming back, Facebook. Do you think? Yeah. Like I, so Facebook, I joined when I was in university. Yeah. And it was like the place to be. And mm. then it sort of felt like it died down. And I think recently I've been drawn to Facebook a lot mm. more. Making a comeback. So maybe, maybe. Yeah. I think there's a, a good... More, yeah, communities and things Yes, like that's that. it. I was just going to say, I think there's a good sense of community because you can have yeah. your groups and stuff like that, can't yeah. you? Which I think Instagram and that don't have groups in yeah. the same way. So yeah, no, maybe, no. maybe we'll see Facebook come back then this year. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So how long have you been a content creator for then? So I will say probably 
it's probably about four or five years. Okay. But like to give you a bit of background, so I used to so when I was a kid, I started modeling and acting, and it did commercials mm. and things like that back in Spain. Oh wow! And when I moved here, Instagram was my place to put any photo shoots I've done, any new mm. jobs I've done. That was my show in the world, showcasing my portfolio as, as it was. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then about five years ago, I suddenly got a DM from a marketing agency in Bristol and said, oh, we want to invite you to this blogger event. Oh. And from there, everything just sort of took off. And yeah. Oh, wow. Meant to <laughs> so, be then. Yeah. Amazing. So, you know, I'm, I'm very happy and, and glad that that happened because I am where I am because of that. Yeah. Sometimes all it takes is that one thing, isn't it? And everything yeah. then like spirals from there. Yeah. So, yeah. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. So how did you become a content creator within your niche then? What started it off like five years ago, whenever you started? Well, literally. So I went to this meetup and then I started getting like random emails from the marketing agencies and then all the marketing agencies and then random brands on like the DMs. And so, you know, one thing brought to another thing, you know, you, you do a review for a restaurant and mm. all these nice boxes of food and then suddenly the, the next restaurant alone comes and like oh we would like to invite you for for dinner or you know you review this i don't know activity that you can do in bristol and then the next activity mm. plays calls you and say oh could you come and, and you know do a video or do a photo or, yeah so it kind of all happens think, organically doesn't it yeah the, the yeah. more you do i think the more you get as well mm. like the more you're present and showing the world this is what I'm doing and I, I'm actually enjoying doing this. Mm. And I think that's how it works. I guess yeah. that's how it's worked for me. So Yeah, it's getting yeah. your name out there as well, isn't it? Like yeah. you said, the more you do, the more people hear about you yeah. and then other stuff comes from that. Indeed. Yeah. So was it when you got invited to that first event then? Um, that was before you were a content creator, wasn't it? That was when you were sort yeah. of doing the modeling and stuff. Yeah, I was just putting like my photos of the latest whatever I had yeah. done. But no, not with the purpose of, selling anything or yeah. promoting anything it was just like oh look I've done this photo shoot with this photographer oh I've been in this movie doing that so and then it suddenly changed into oh you know we'll give you this in exchange of that yeah and we'll give you that in exchange mm -hmm. of you doing this video or the photo and yeah it just organically mm. moved from showing a portfolio to ah oh, this is what I'm doing every day and I'm enjoying it and you should do it too. Amazing. I think that's the best way, isn't it? When it kind of naturally yeah. happens instead of you feeling yeah. like, you know, right, I have to do this. I have to make money, stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. that, that can get really tedious and, and yeah. take the love out of it. So I think that's definitely the best way to go about it. Yeah, indeed. So what is the secret to your success as a content creator then? It's a hard question, isn't it, that one? Um, <laughs> well, I, I don't know if success is a word to be used yet, but... At the end of the day, I am happy with what I'm doing, mm -hmm. and I think that shows. Like, if you, I only tend to accept things that I think go along with the sort of person I am and the sort of things I do and the mm. sort of things I enjoy. Um, so I think at the end of the day, you have to be sort of true to yourself and show to the people that you know I'm eating here and I'm really, really enjoying this piece of bread. Yeah. <laughs> If, so, you know, if, if they were inviting me to something that I don't like eating, although I, I pretty much like everything eating, so I don't think there'll be any. But I will probably it will not show us as, as so genuine. I will say. Yeah, and, and, so it's so being true. authentic, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and true to yourself. And also, I think you know, in this industry, if you can call this an industry, mm -hmm. you have to be nice to people mm. and be friendly to people. Yeah. Because, and again, it's you know, it's like the old saying, it's not what you know, but who you know. Definitely. I, I'm going to say, like, I feel very lucky that through the past five years, I've met lots of people, both as in the marketing agencies or brands that have just randomly DM me mm. and asked me to do something for them. But also, I think, I guess, I feel like I have a good community of like blogger friends. Yes, yeah. And, you know, when you're friends with them and then, you know, they've done lots of cool things thanks to one of them saying, oh, look, they've invited me to this. Why don't you come with me? Mm. Or, oh, why don't you apply for this? They're, they're needing like bloggers, so and so. Yeah, so, definitely. I guess it's a bit of lag, a mm. bit of like who you know. And at the end of the day, you know, if you're nice and friendly, people are 
you know, there's human beings at the other side of the screen, no matter yeah, whether you're exactly. a or you're a brand. So, you know, being friendly and being human to other humans. Mm. So it is about building that community, isn't it? Yeah. And making your followers yeah. feel like you're their friend almost, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and like, you know what? They are a real person behind the screen, really, do you know what I mean? That's how I feel myself. I'm, I'm like, I feel like I'm friendly with everybody and I'm friends with everybody. So yes. if you want to be my friend, I'll be your friend. Yeah, that's it. And being like authentic as well, I suppose, comes in when you're working with brands. So like you said, you know, you don't just pretend to like something because you're yeah. getting paid or whatever to do it do you know what I mean like you are yeah. honest about about brands that you endorse I suppose and you know if a brand were to come to you and ask for promotion for their products but you either didn't like it or didn't use it you just wouldn't you know you wouldn't enter it just That's because awesome. at the end of the day you know, like I actually have another job so I work part-time for the NHS oh so cool that's where most of my money comes yeah from. and Instagram or, or blogging or content creation it's actually why I enjoy doing the most. Mm. And sometimes I think, you know, I would have done it even if an agency had not contacted me five years ago. Yeah, because you like it. A lot of friends have become my friends mm. and helped grow. So, ah, completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> well, you, you <laughs> would do it even if you didn't get anything from it, is what you were yeah, saying. Like, yeah. I, at the end of the day, I still go eat all the time. I still go on holidays all the time. I still buy things and go to places mm. and do experiences because... I like doing that. So it, it goes hand in hand. If, I, if a brand comes at me and, and it's the sort of thing I like to do, then I'm like extra, extra happy. To be yeah, because you would have done it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So what are your current goals as a content creator then? What would you like to achieve? To be honest, I guess the old cliche of keep on growing. And yes, get absolutely. Um, to be honest, I just want to keep on being happy. I don't want... Mm. I feel like the day this turns into a chore, it, it will be the end of it. You yeah, know? you don't want to turn it into a job. No, like I, I genuinely enjoy what I do. And don't get me wrong, I would love to do content creation full time. Mm. If, if that could pay all of the bills. I yeah. Would, like, yeah, of course. Yeah, I couldn't say no. But as long as I still feel, you know, that that thing in your stomach, oh, I'm, tomorrow I'm going to do so-and-so and I'm yeah. going to be doing content for this whatever brand. Or mm -hmm. As long as I keep on having that passion and that happiness. Excitement for it. Coming, yeah, excitement. Yeah, yeah, that's the right word. Mm -hmm. And I, to be honest, I do get quite excited pretty much about anything. So <laughs> That's always a good way yeah. to be. <laughs> yeah. So it's key, it's keeping it, you know, keeping it a hobby, yeah. keeping it something you love yeah. to do and not letting yeah. that sort of wear out. Yeah. I'd but say... Hey. If it's my full-time job, I will be enjoying it as well. Absolutely. <laughs> Maybe one day. <laughs> yeah. So where do you see yourself as a content creator in five years' time? And a lot can happen in five years, can't it? So you never know, but... To be honest, I I would love to do more travel collaborations. Okay. Because that... Again, because in my brain, when you travel, then you have everything else. You are eating out you're drinking out you're yeah. wearing clothes you're wearing makeup yeah the lifestyle so the comes with lifestyle it lifestyle goes with all of it so i feel like if i get like a nice collaboration with a hotel or, mm. a store or a, i don't know a company of any kind that in the hospitality travel section yeah then yeah it, it will me make me very happy because mm. everything else i love is encompassed in, in yeah that's to a niche so yeah i know that's yeah, true maybe. That's, that's what I want more. Mm. Companies out there that do travel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Drop her a DM. <laughs> yeah. Do you do a lot of traveling at the moment then? Um, That's basically everything I do with my free time as much as I can. Okay. So at least every couple of months I, I'll be going somewhere. Oh, wow. Yeah, Where's your favorite? What makes me happy. Where's your favorite place you've traveled um, if you could choose? Well, obviously I'm biased because I'm Sp I'm Spanish. So yes, that's very true. Spain is my favorite. Mm -hmm. But of all the places in the world I've been to, the Maldives mm. and New York were the two places mm. that have the most fun and everything was like, wow. Yeah, I would love to go to New York. Looks yeah. great. Yeah, it was really good. Mm. Awesome. So what is your dream brand to work with then? You say about a travel, sort of a travel brand, but is there one in particular you have in mind? To be honest, anything, as I said, like any travel is good travel. Yeah, or, or yeah. In my brain, like anytime you, you can go away, mm -hmm. you, you should make the most of it and, and have fun with what you're doing. 
the traveling, anything related to traveling. But to be honest with you, I, I don't even know if this is, exists as a thing. Mm -hmm. I would love to collaborate with the Michelin guide. Oh, I, yeah. They could send me, send me like every month to different countries, to different yeah. Michelin star restaurants. Like, that would be like the holy grail of like. That would be incredible. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah, so that's but something, like, big travel big restaurants yes absolutely <laughs> i suppose it's good to be open you know you don't want to be too picky dear do with the, yeah. with you know collaboration and, and as i said i'm i don't tend to be i'm i'm happy with mm. anything that comes my way so like you said you never know what comes from any of them so gotta say yeah. yes yes <laughs> <laughs> so what is your best piece of advice for those wanting to become or grow as a content creator within your niche okay so i think it probably I'll, I'll divide it in three because the first one will be like you have to be kind respectful and friendly because as i was saying you know no matter what you are doing for work mm. at the other side of the screen there's another human being yes exactly um, and again you don't know you, you need to build rapport with that person and mm. you don't know what's gonna come out of that mm -hmm. and, and what other opportunities come of that so at the end of the day always be polite and friendly and respectful and kind and yeah and nice mm -hmm. um Thing, the other thing to consider is you have to be very patient yeah because like every everybody's journey is different and like let's be honest everybody sort of compares themselves with other people and you know how many followers you have compared to this other person mm. or how many collabs you're getting and everybody's journey is moved in a different direction and a different pace so i guess you know as long as you enjoy what you're doing don't don't worry about numbers and things like things will come well, at least things have come to me naturally. So I feel like if you're positive and you're friendly and you keep on like creating content and mm. showing the world that, you know, what you enjoy doing and that they could enjoy it as well, then yeah. that, that just comes. It's, it's just like a... Just happens. Yeah, yeah, it just happens. It's not putting too much um, pressure on, yeah. is it? No. Yeah. And, and you know, you, you just literally said the last point, which is you should enjoy what you do. Yes. No pressure on yourself. You, you should, you know, the, the moment you, you don't enjoy it, then it's not worth it. Yeah, no, exactly. Why do you to not enjoy life? So, yeah, yeah. Why do something that you don't enjoy? Yeah. What's the point? Yeah. So, you know, be nice and be kind, be patient mm. and enjoy. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So I've got a couple of bonus questions then just to finish okay. off with. So what kind of content do you enjoy creating the most and why? So sort of talking about format so you know photo video reel anything like that i again because i come from a like photography background mm. I, I really like like photos stills yeah more than anything else mm -hmm. and even you know if i'm scrolling through things i enjoy more you know seeing a nice picture of something and then reading like the caption underneath that says yeah this was taken in hawaii and yeah it was you know, in a sunset by Waikiki Beach or something mm, like that. Yeah. Um, and I guess as part of that, I like that. I like taking a nice photo and then explaining. I, I know that, you know, sometimes they say like a photo is worth a thousand words, but I like the thousand words as well. Yeah, it's yeah. Things in many ways. So at least, you know, with the description, I like to know what the person was feeling, what the person mm. was thinking about when they took that photo. Adds depth, or, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. Um, but I, I realized that, you know, video content is everywhere and mm. it's the thing that currently sells the most and to be honest when it comes to food if i'm doing food content i don't mind doing video because sometimes you know the steam that comes out of a steak or yeah it brings it to life of a you know fajitas that you're having yeah for that, you know all of that adds mm -hmm. to the emotion of oh my goodness i want to eat that yes Whereas that's that, true i want to go there and have that mm. so you can almost taste it can't you <laughs> yes, yeah so i i think there's a place for every format but i i prefer generally still photographs because i can stop and look at it and yeah yeah really take it in yeah mm. often it's annoying as well if you have like a video or a reel on instagram and you look at a bit of it and then it like it moves on but you haven't finished looking at that first yeah, bit yeah, so yeah. you have to take it yeah. back and then pause it so yeah no that makes a lot of sense yeah. so one one last question then can you share some insights into your audience demographics and interests so what are the kind of well who are the kind of people that follow you basically so from 
what Instagram tells me. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them are women between 25 and 45 years mm. old. Um, funnily enough, even though I don't tend to do much fashion, mm -hmm. when I do fashion, it seems to work better. Oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. To, like, interactions get, get better, but I guess it's, you know, people are used to see certain things about me. And then when I suddenly put something that is unusual, they're like, oh, what's this? Oh, okay. Um, in terms, I mean, I think I have like 60% is UK, mm -hmm. but the other amount is pretty much Spain. Okay. Um, to be honest with you, then when I've spoken to people in real life that follow me, mm -hmm. or like, you know, like the, the wife of somebody that works with somebody that knows or follows me. Yeah. <laughs> and they, like, the consensus they always tell me is like, oh, I love all the food you eat. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so foodies. Then if it doesn't show in the numbers or in the statistics that, that Instagram is showing me, I know that offline, all the people that talk to me about what I do, they're like, oh, that thing you were eating the other day, or, oh, how can you eat that? Or, you know, yeah. <laughs> it creates the conversations and the... Okay, yeah, I think it's quite a cultural thing as well, isn't it, food? Yeah. Like, it, yeah. it really, you know, brings people together almost in a way. Yeah, well, everybody eats every day. Well, that's and, it. You know, it's very relatable. People, yeah, yeah, but there's people that, to be honest, food is just a substance, it's something they need to... Yeah, true, living. yeah. But I like when I find people that I can talk and they actually have a passion and, you know, mm. something cooked with that bit of garlic that makes it the extra bit. And they're yeah. Like, oh, it's know, it's like, more than just like, sort of nutrients to the people. Yeah, yeah for sure. So I, I like finding people like that in the world. Yeah. Do you meet a lot of people that follow you then? Um. Yeah, Bristol is not that big. That's true. <laughs> and when you, especially when they, when they do like blogger events where, you know, there's a new opening for a restaurant. It's not yeah, big. that is true that you end up meeting and and even if you have not never met one person and then you're like oh i'm lorena f and they'll be like oh i've heard of you and yeah like, oh, I'm so like, oh i've heard of you i may not know you but yeah putting the face to the username isn't yeah. it i bet that's really cool then because you can you know go away and every yeah. time you see that person's content in the future you can like yeah. actually picture talking to yeah, them in real life you've actually met them yeah, yeah. and uh, that is actually quite a nice thing especially when people don't put their faces in their instagram yeah because you're like Oh, I wonder what that person is like or what they look like. Yeah, you'd never know unless you met them. Like, all, all I see is a plate with food. That's yeah. That's very nice. That's so amazing. I, I like I like meeting people in real life as well. Yeah, for sure. And those are like lifelong connections really, aren't they? Because they're yeah, yeah. like-minded. You know, they do the same yeah. thing as you. They like the same things as you. Yeah. And, and that's the thing. I, I, I felt that since I moved to this country, what I call my blogger friends have become best friends or yeah. better friends that are almost any friend I've ever had but that's mm. because you finally have something in common and you know they understand that if you're going to a restaurant everybody's going to be getting their phone first and yeah the yeah that's true the content comes first and the food the and phone eats first understand where you're coming from so. yeah definitely yeah. Amazing. Well, that is all of the questions. So there was my conversation with Lorena. Thank you again so much to Lorena for coming on and having this conversation with me today. It was super fun chatting to you and I learned a lot. Go ahead and give Lorena a follow on social media as well as us here at Influwork. All the links will be in the description below. If you want to be a part of our influencer Q&A series here at Influwork, drop an email to summer at influwork.com and we'll schedule a call. I hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you in the next one. Happy influencing!